Subscribe to Smartphone Tutorials by clicking on the subscribe button and do remember to click on the notification bell icon to get instant notifications. Hello awesome people, welcome to Smartphone Tutorials. So yesterday you saw how to install the Chinese Vita on the amazing OnePlus 5T. Well guess what, I woke up this morning and I looked at the WhatsApp group and they already have the open beta, the first open beta for the OnePlus 5T which is a global ROM. So it has all the goodies that you would have on a stable ROM and you, do, you need not to worry about the Chinese bloatware and you don't need to worry about installing the Google Play Store manually. So if you have any questions of how to downgrade from beta to stable or how to upgrade from stable to beta, you will have all the answers in this particular video, the files and the links will be mentioned in the description. Once again, hello awesome people, welcome to Smartphone Tutorials, let's begin. All right guys, so before we begin this uh, particular process, I would like to thank OnePlus because they have not only provided us with a beta which is based on Android Oreo, but they have also provided us with a very convenient way to roll back to Android 7.1 with a stable ROM and we are going to do just that. Now mind you, before we proceed, you need to back up all your data, you need to have at least 50% because this will wipe everything on your internal storage. Now as you're looking at the screen right now, if we go to settings, we are running Oxygen OS 4.7.6 which is a stable variant. What we're going to do next is we're going to go ahead and first upgrade to Android Oreo that is the first global beta. Now to do that, go to settings, go to about phone, tap build number 7 times. Okay, I have already enabled that and we need to enable advanced reboot. Now the audio file, the link for that is already in the description and what you need to do is download that file and copy it to your phone's internal memory. Okay, now then what you need to do is go to settings, go to system updates, click on the settings icon, click on local upgrade and select this file here and then select upgrade now. Now this upgrade process will take about 5 to 7 minutes so please be patient and don't worry about anything let it do its own thing. We will skip through the update part because it takes Oreo for you guys. Now in this case, uh, you know, you can simply go ahead and do this update because it didn't give me any force closures. It didn't actually create any problems for me. So if you are on a locked bootloader and if you are on the official stable ROM, you can directly update it using this method and you will not lose any data. Now the reason I mentioned you have to back up all the data is because going to beta is easy but coming back from beta to stable is not because we have to flash a zip and then we have to go ahead and format everything manually from the recovery including internal storage only then we can successfully boot into android n or android no good stable rom i'm going to show you just that what we're going to do next is the second file that you see in the link is the rollback file i'm going to copy that phone's internal memory and then we're going to roll back okay now that we have that particular file copied, what I'm going to suggest is if, if you've not done this already, go to about phone, tap build number 7 times, enable developer options and enable advanced reboot. Now then press and hold the power button, reboot, recovery and then touch to reboot. So what we're basically doing is we are booting into the stock recovery and we have a zip file or a ROM from OnePlus which will help us to get back to the stock OTA update path after which you will be able to you know get OTA updates as you always used to. So this is the OnePlus recovery let's select English 
let's install from internal storage now as you see here O to N this clearly signifies audio to no good so select this file select yes and let it update so in the first part you saw me install Android audio beta on a stable ROM now you can do this on a locked bootloader or you can do this with TWRP the process remains the same when you go to audio from Nougat you will not get any force closures or you will not you know have any problems going there but then again it is always recommended as it is a major Android update we highly recommend you to go ahead and wipe everything not the internal storage you can leave that aside but wipe everything and start afresh when you're going to Oreo so as you can see we are rolling back to Nougat right now that will give us a stable ROM now it will ask us if you want to reboot now or not so we will not reboot but we will select yes now the ROM that is installed we need to wipe everything remember otherwise we will be in a boot loop and it will not boot so let's select wipe data and cache see this option erase everything music picks etc this cannot be undone so you're gonna lose everything make sure you've backed up there's no going back okay let's do it all right now we can reboot we will give it say about two to three minutes and it should boot up into the stable ROM just fine now in my case this is an unlocked bootloader but you can do this on a locked bootloader as well you can do this with TWRP all right there goes the first boot all right so the first boot is complete and looks like we are already on a stable ROM without any problems so let's see what is the OOS version that we have real quick let's quickly run through setup and we will skip that okay all set there we go so there you go you are 4.7.5 so you're back to 4.7.5 just like that you lost all your data you can restore your data so this was the video guys in which you saw everything you will ever need when it comes to OnePlus 5T. If you want to go to Android or your beta, you have the first part of the video. If you want to come back to a stable ROM from Oreo beta, you can follow the second part of the video. Please like, share and subscribe to my channel. And if there's any suggestions that you have guys, please feel free to share. I will be announcing the winners for the previous giveaway in tomorrow's video and Starting next month, new year, new contest, a lot of exciting stuff is going to come. Once again, thank you for your time. Goodbye.